today from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. This is Matt NFL 21. Sports coverage of the NFL has us roughly midway between Boston and Providence. Everybody knows it as Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. the putter Jake Bailey ready to do the honors and we are underway in Foxborough and this will make it into the end zone and no run back here so they'll bring it out to the 25 the Raiders set to go to work behind their veteran quarterback and that's Derek Carr sometimes I wonder if we're just not looking at Derek Carr and evaluating him the correct way because this guy's been incredibly reliable only two missed starts in six seasons with the Raiders. His completion percentage top 70% last year. The only one higher, Drew Brees in New Orleans. The problem, though, it hasn't translated into wins. They move the ball up and down the field, but they don't score enough touchdowns. Derek Carr hoping to remedy that in 2020. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On the ground, this is Jalen Richard. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. A gain of three, second down. Man, in all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Carr gives to Richard. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Adam Butler. That's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Obviously, they didn't get everything they wanted on that completion, but they put themselves in a spot where you've got to at least think about going for it. I know where we are on the field, but still, you've got to think about it, don't you? J. Cole comes on to punt. A 
A 39-yard punt, a return of five, and the Patriots take over. Now, now come the Patriots as they are led out by their quarterback, a former MVP of the National Football League back in 2015, Cam Newton. And when he's at the top of his game, you see that big smile? That's when you know everything is clicking. That means he's accurate throwing the football. They can't get him down in the run game, and his team is having a whole lot of fun because when they score a touchdown, some fan's going to get lucky and get the game ball. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. A shotgun snap for Newton. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. To throw again, Newton. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll run for the first time with Sony Michelle. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Michelle, the ball carrier. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. From the 35 on second down, Newton. That's complete into the hands of Myers. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. A couple of first downs on the drive already, as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Devin Asiasi there. And that'll bring up second down. By the way, I got to apologize, because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll run with a former Super Bowl hero. It's James White. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing on third down, Newton. And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. Michelle, incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck roll that they can fall back on anymore. Now the second-year punter, Jake Bailey, on for New England. As he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And that hit.
gets it to six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Raiders coming back out here to get the football, and they are off to a 2-0 start on the season. Maybe the most surprising 2-0 team in the National Football League. They got that win in week one against Carolina, and then they open their new stadium with all the bright lights with a win over the Saints, albeit without Michael Thomas, but a great win nonetheless. And now another test in week three as they travel to New England. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at the 20. He's back to throw here to start the drive. The Pets are going to get there. Down he goes. Derek Rivers. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. From the gun, it's Carr. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he'll go out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. That catch good for five. It's third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. On third and long, it's Carr. Drops this off to Richard. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield, and he picks up a back-breaking first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. 28, a solid Jacobs. run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Shotgun now for Carr. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 43. Okay, here we go. No score after one on EA Sports. No score. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. The ball carrier. There with a tackle, Dietrich Wise Jr. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Definitely. 
You look at there, the defensive back was maybe a step slower than he was when he came into the league a decade ago. I know I question his speed coming into the game, but what he's lost in speed, he's more than made up for it with intellect. And that's a great job of knowing how to position himself to make that interception. With the New England Patriots coming back out here at CD, one and one on the season for New England. Winners over Miami in the opener, fell in a great ball game week two to the Seahawks, 35-30. But this was a game that the Patriots, they had a chance to win. Cam Newton stopped at the goal line on the final play of the contest. Even with the loss, so I think you'd have to say the Cam Newton experiment looks like it might really pay off. He's been pretty sensational. He certainly has been. He's healthy. He looks a lot like Cam Newton. He's 31 years old, Brandon. But this looks more like 25-year-old Cam, the way he's moving around and being a big part of their run game. And what I like as well is how New England has adapted to Cam in terms of how they're running offense. And I think he's starting to connect with Julian Edelman quite well. So when you look at this team in total, a lot of optimism. No short measure because of Cam Newton. 397 yards pass against Seattle. Two scores. That's four for him now on the year. And I mentioned Edelman before, eight catches, 179 yards. They go home to the Raiders next week, and then they're at Kansas City in week four. I think this New England team is going to be fun to watch. Seven yards there and a first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Well, let's go back to the start of the season talk, Charles. We talked about some 2-0 and 0-2 and and teams. You mentioned Arizona, maybe a good surprise. Houston, a bad surprise. Any other teams a surprise at this point to you? Well, I think that I would look at the Los Angeles Rams right out of the gate at home against Dallas, opening their new stadium. Many thought Dallas would go out west and beat them. That didn't happen. And then how about the Rams going on the road this week? and beating Philadelphia and decisively. This looks like a Rams team that finished nine and seven last year. It has designs on challenging for the division title. And one other team I would throw in there is a little bit of a surprise. Just by how it's gone down, how about Atlanta? I know it's tough against Seattle, tough against Dallas. Seattle was at home, but they got jumped on by Seattle. And in the Dallas game, they just gave away. That's a team that should be at worst one and one right now. Now looking at 0 and 2 and have a lot of questions. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. They got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. And it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Devin Asiasi, there. And it's third and five. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Throwing again is Newton. Got a man open. That's Harry. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Patriots send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. The Raiders take over first and ten. 
at their own court. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. The result's not great thus far. A punt on the first drive and an interception last time out. Now let's face it, every team wants to come out on the field and play with some confidence, play some tempo, play with some rhythm. And when you're making those types of mistakes, you're not getting any of that put together. So what do you say, time to get back to the basics for them? In a lot of ways, yes. But the biggest one, of course, is finding people who will take care of the football and make a few plays. You've got to have a drive now that calms down the entire team. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That is caught by the rookie from Bama. It's Henry Ruggs. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Las Vegas. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. They'll run on first down. Richard. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. The tackle made at the 47-yard line. A gain of five brings up second and five. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. This pass from Carr taken in by Waller. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 11 yards there, first down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the gun, Carr. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Throwing again. Carr, that's complete to Richard, the running back. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now, Carr again. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. The Patriots. Well, CD, unfortunately, some somber news across the league in Week 2 coming from New England Patriots running back James White because his parents were in a car crash, and his father, Tyrone, captain of the Miami-Dade Police Department, passed away in that accident, and his mother, Lisa, also sustained critical injuries. So it was obviously a tough one. James White did not play in the game on Sunday, but we did see the outpouring of support from around the National Football League and how this really is one big family. Yeah, he was really embraced, as you mentioned, by the National Football League. We saw social posts from plenty of players around the league, including Tom Brady, former teammate of his with the New England Patriots. We saw an outpouring in terms of, you know, other guys around the league, J.J. Watt, who played with him in college at Wisconsin. And not only that, how about his own teammates? Devin McCourty scored a touchdown against Seattle and ran up and told the camera, Hey, 2 8, we're thinking about you. We love you. And the rest of the guys chimed in from there. And the Patriots organization offered to fly him home on the private jet. He stayed with his team, stayed in their embrace. And now he has to go and face the difficult task of saying goodbye to his dad, attending to his mom. But he's got plenty of support from around the league, from the Patriots, and of course, his own family.
Newton on first down. That's to his running back, Sony Michel. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. A play fake to Michelle, now Newton. Catch is made by Harry. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 yards there, first down. And they'll continue to look for more catches like that from Nikhil Harry. He was New England's first pick in the 2019 draft. Had a disappointing rookie season, though. Only 12 catches for 105 yards and just two touchdowns. With his talent and his potential, this team needs him to step up. Throw left side complete to Harry. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Again, Newton. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Pass incomplete, out of the end zone. It's now second and 10. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. To throw again. Newton. Dancing to his left. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Offense. Hey, baby, this ain't good enough for us. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. A 33-yarder from the left hash. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So we will not go into the lockers tied. We do have a leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. Yeah, it's only three points. Doesn't seem like much. But it looms big the way that they got it done right before the half ended. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Jalen Richard now on the return. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was an excellent first half from the former league MVP, Cam Newton. His guys lead, though by only a field goal, still anybody's game, as we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half.
Tennessee's offense is seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. With no gain on the play there, second down. No gain on the play. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Out of the gun, Newton. And a dump off to White. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Got that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. From the gun, here's Newton. It's complete. James White. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Raiders will take over now, first and 10. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And with the way this offense has played thus far, you know, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Yeah, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And this will go for five up to the 33. Josh Jacobs. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. The throw on the quick slant going to be complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Instead of the first, he'll have to go backwards for another second down try. So if there is a silver lining, though, it stays second down, and they still have an opportunity to pick up a first down before they have to start their downs over again. Throwing on first down is Carr. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. He's brought down. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Three yards remain for second down.
Working from the gun, it's Carr. He'll find his running back here, Richard. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Operating from the gun, Carr and Waller taking it in over the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Tackle made at the 20. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Throwing on second and eight. Carr, that's into the hands of Edwards. Cars pass. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a, it's a first down on a gain of 10. First down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Now a first and 10 at the 11. From the gun, it's Carr. This will be caught just inside the 10. Carr's pass. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. Brings up second and eight at the Patriots' eight-yard line. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. From the gun, Carr toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He was trying to get it that time to Brian Edwards, and it's third down. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it was an intercepted. Throwing his car on third down. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So they decline it as that will bring up four. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Carlson is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Three, three.
This hasn't exactly been a battle of one touchdown after the other, quite the opposite, but at 3-3 now here in the fourth, it's been an entertaining game considering just two field goals. Yeah, is it really a football game now or are we watching baseball? This feels like a pitcher's <laughs> duel, doesn't it? Nice and tense on the edge of your seat. Have you been scoring this one? A lot of, a lot of strikeouts and ground balls in this one. Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. On the return, it's Taylor. Got a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. New England trying to get to place on offense. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now, first and 10, just shy of the 30. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 35-yard line. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. A shotgun snap for Newton. Open man is Myers. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and two. New England on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This time they face a third and two. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. They go right back to White here on first down. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 yards there, first down. Sonny Michelle comes out of a long line of terrific running backs from the University of Georgia. It was a first-round selection for New England in 2018. He does not mind carrying the football, never turns down an opportunity. Top 10 in rushing attempts in the league in 2019. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field. They'll try the air now with Newton. Over the middle, that's caught by Harry. And he's got this down to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run, big-time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. And a short gain down to about the 33. James White, the ball carrier. Offensives are praising offense for their variety, being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31-yard line. 
Max Crosby on the tackle. A two-yard pickup brings up third and six. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Patriots with a football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On third down, Michelle. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and 10. First and they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. On the ground is Michelle. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Second and five at the 17 yard line. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. On the handoff, it's Michelle. And they'll get him down right around the 16. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Call on a nickel set here for third down. They will run with White out of the shotgun. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Kicks of the night is forthcoming. A 30-yard attempt. And Folk's kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. Raiders three. We still wait on the first touchdown of the game, but a second field goal now makes it a 6-3 score. Yeah, I know a lot of people would call this the definition of winning ugly. To me, this is gorgeous. I'm a defender, right? I love these kind of games. The tension is high. Who's going to make the play to win it? And right now, that field goal may be the advantage they need. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own. So Carr and the Raiders now. Down 6-3. to three, 56 seconds to go. Now they need at minimum three points out of this as they come up first and 10.
Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. He'll look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. To throw his car. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A good pick up there of 20 yards. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Here's Carr. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Stephon Gilmore. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Carr. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. We can't have that. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. to throw car he's gonna let it fly and it's incomplete so their final drive comes up empty and with that the ball game is over we're going into the final play of this game. They knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.